What's going on everyone and welcome to our first video of 2020. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the phone sitting right here on the table, the OnePlus 7T Pro. When we unboxed it, we had quite a bit of people request for us to do the full review and we're more than happy to do that. So in this video, we're gonna cover what exactly is different between this phone and the OnePlus 7 Pro, how much it costs, where it's actually available here in the United States, and ultimately, should you buy it now that we're in 2020 and we have a couple other flagship phones coming out soon? Let's get to it. So when OnePlus releases new products, typically towards the beginning of the year, about six or seven months later, they'll do a mid-year refresh cycle and attach a T to the end of those product lines. They're essentially small refinements over what was already a really solid line of products. Now the OnePlus 7T Pro is no exception. There are refinements made to this phone that make it better than the OnePlus 7 Pro, but ultimately they share about 90% of their attributes in common. They share the same big, huge, slightly curved display that gets super bright, is incredibly awesome in terms of overall resolution, and has that excellent 90 hertz refresh display. They also share that in-display fingerprint sensor. They share the same pop-up selfie camera, they share the same design. So ultimately, they're 90, maybe even more than 90% in common. So what exactly is different? You have a faster processor, you have a larger battery, and you have a familiar camera setup with one small refinement. That's going to be the focus of this video. Starting off with what's probably the smallest change, the size of the battery. So the OnePlus 7T Pro came with a 4,000 milliamp hour battery. Now that's awesome, and that phone got incredible battery life. You could easily get through an entire day, maybe even two days, depending on your usage, and it had 30 watt fast charging. So it was really, really good in terms of overall battery life. Now the OnePlus 7T Pro packs a 4,085 milliamp hour battery. So you're getting 85 additional milliamp hours more compared to the OnePlus 7 Pro. Now what does that translate to in terms of difference of battery life? Honestly, not much. You're probably not gonna notice anything. I didn't anyways. But the battery life is still excellent. So while you get an additional 85 milliamp hours and it doesn't make too much of a difference, you're still looking at at least one day of heavy usage, maybe even two days, but your charging speed has been bumped up slightly on this device with Warp Charge 30T that's slightly faster. And let me tell you, when I mean slightly faster, it's incredibly fast. So slight bump in battery, not really a difference in battery life, but still a battery champion at the end of the day. The next refinement is going to be in terms of your processor. On the OnePlus 7T Pro, you're looking at the upgraded Snapdragon 855 Plus versus the Snapdragon 855. Now in reality, both of these are excellent processors, especially considering OnePlus will typically pair them with eight to 12 gigs of RAM, sometimes six gigs on the lower end, but OnePlus's Oxygen OS is also incredibly trimmed down for a third-party Android experience, and it's also well-optimized. So either phone you go with, they're both going to perform really, really well. Now in terms of overall clock speeds, the 855 Plus is at about a 15% bump in terms of overall performance. Are you going to notice it? No, not really. That's because both phones just perform really, really well, and a 15% clock speed on a phone that already performs really well is going to be negligible in terms of how well you're actually going to notice it. So at the end of the day, you get a more updated processor, which is really nice, but the phone itself is still a beast in terms of overall performance. Now in terms of cameras, this is compared to the other two refinements, arguably going to be your biggest refinement. Although the camera setup as a whole is really, really familiar. So you still have the same triple lens setup. Your main lens is 48 megapixels. Your telephoto lens is eight megapixels and you have an ultra wide lens with 16 megapixels. And honestly, this camera setup is capable of getting some really solid shots. Are you going to have the best camera setup on the market? No, you're not. But you can still take really amazing photos and pretty solid video that you're overall going to be really happy with. Now, if you absolutely prioritize the camera on a cell phone, the OnePlus 7T Pro or the OnePlus 7 Pro for that matter may not be the smartphone for you. But overall, I find the camera setup relatively versatile and capable of producing some really good shots. Now, where you're going to see your refinement is the new super macro mode, which allows you to get up close and personal with your subjects. I mean like super up close and personal, like the amount that you're able to take this smartphone close to a subject is sometimes uncomforting 
Like you can get really close to a point where other cell phones would 100% lose their focus. Like you could, for example, put the camera really up close to a keyboard and get an individual key with the letter 100% in focus, whereas any other smartphone camera would lose focus even getting remotely close to a subject like that. Now I will say this as well, it's hardware based. So unfortunately, a phone like the OnePlus 7 Pro can't get this feature with a software update. You will have to invest in a OnePlus 7T or a OnePlus 7T Pro. But if you're someone that likes to get super macro shots like this, it's definitely a welcome addition to what's already a super solid camera setup. Now let's talk about the interesting part of the OnePlus 7T Pro, which is essentially its price and its availability. Compared to other OnePlus devices, the 7T Pro, especially in this McLaren edition, is the most expensive device they've ever made. And as it currently stands, it's only available as a 5G device for T-Mobile. Now if you're on T-Mobile, you can get the 5G Pro McLaren edition for $899, but chances are you're gonna get pulled into like an installment contract of some kind, so you shouldn't be paying that upfront. Now what about people who don't wanna use T-Mobile but they still wanna try and get their hands on this device? You can check tech websites like newegg.com, and you can actually find devices like this for sale that will work with GSM carriers here in the United States, but expect to pay that same 900 or in some cases, maybe even a slight premium close to the thousand dollar range because you're technically buying a phone that wasn't supposed to be for sale in the United States outside of T-Mobile on their 5G network. So at the 899 price tag or even the 999 price tag, is it worth it? I think it honestly depends on what you prioritize in your smartphone experience. Oxygen OS is excellent, and that's paired to trailblazing internal specs, a solid camera system, an excellent display, a solid in-display fingerprint reader, a pop-up selfie camera, one of my favorite smartphone designs of 2019, and in general, really. There's a reason why we picked this phone as the best overall Android smartphone in our smartphone winners of 2019. So I would say, if you have the cash and you're really interested in a OnePlus device and you prioritize performance and hardware over anything else, the OnePlus 7T Pro is definitely an excellent buy. But I would also recommend keeping an eye out for sales on the OnePlus 7 Pro. The point of this video was to talk to you about the refinements that the 7T Pro brings, but the OnePlus 7 Pro is not very different from this device. And if you can find it for sale at a really good price, that's definitely also worth your money. But I really appreciate you guys tuning in tonight. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button down below. And as always, I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace. And the OnePlus 7T Pro is that exact. What was I about to say? I think I was gonna say that exact same thing and I combined it. <laughs>